Welcome to White Box Learning Structures 2.0. As always, students will log in here on the application login page with the same ID they would use for our other STEM applications. But first, please make sure you have added Structures 2.0 as an activity in whatever classrooms you choose. Please review the Teacher Control Center demonstration video for instructions. Structures 2.0 is a turnkey applied STEM unit created to take the bridge building activity to a new level. Using our web-based learning system, your students will be immersed in a modern, exciting, STEM-intensive, virtual, and physical bridge design unit. The learning system contains fully integrated standards-based science, math, and engineering content. 3D design and analysis tools, a game-like simulation, and all the custom plans and materials necessary to take our virtual learnings into the physical realm by building a physical model of our optimized design. Structures 2.0, like all of the STEM applications, is unique due to its unrelenting focus on all four letters of STEM woven together in the same place at the same time. The user interface is the same for all of our STEM applications. First, in the research materials, students begin with the background section where they will learn about factor of safety, parts of a truss, and truss types. Then, they will examine the design specifications. These design specifications, or rules of the challenge, are established by you, the teacher, in the Teacher Control Center and can be modified effortlessly to initiate new challenges and provoke new learning. Next, in the Knowledge at Work section, students learn about external and internal forces, tension and compression, stress and yield strength, and what characteristics must exist for stability. They learn how all these principles come together to determine the structural integrity of a bridge design. Numerous quizzes, worksheets, and tutorials are woven into the content to support theory with action. All the while, time on task and quiz scores are uploaded to the Teacher Control Center, which then provides for real-time student and class progress reports. While the middle school content is more conceptual, the goal of the high school content is for students to first completely understand how to analyze a truss without using simulation tools. Then, a host of 3D modeling and simulation tools work hand in glove with the content, empowering students to apply their new understanding over and over again, gaining more knowledge with each informed iteration. Here, the sketcher provides an excellent example. The sketcher has a very simple interface. It is CAD-like in many respects, but intentionally focuses on the task at hand and the information necessary to reinforce the STEM content. The sketcher provides students with the ability to create most any truss they like, with the following exception. Their design must be statically determinate. A quick note, we believe this is a very important element of Structures 2.0 and paramount in revealing the underlying STEM. This concept sounds complicated, but it's actually a pretty simple check to ensure that a student's design can be analyzed and solved by the student with mathematical methods that are appropriate for middle and high school students. In our simulation, we could easily determine the stability of a statically indeterminate bridge, but to do so would be to give the answers without revealing the questions, that is, the underlying STEM, and would also enter into content well beyond middle and high school standards. Therefore, just prior to the sketch or tutorial, Students learn all about statically determinate designs and the broader concept 
of trust stability through quality, interactive content, and formative worksheets. The Sketcher works hand in glove with this content. Summarizing, the research is what we refer to as the good stuff. The underlying science, technology, engineering, and math that the students can immediately apply, putting theory into practice, and thereby further developing their critical thinking skills throughout the remaining phases of the Structures 2.0 STEM application. The engineering section is divided into three areas, setup, truss design, and truss analysis. Setup establishes units, raw materials, and allows students to set general parameters like bridge length, span, roadbed width, and whether they would like to model side trusses and or deck trusses. Truss design allows students to adjust height and width, set the number of trusses and number of bays, and to establish a template truss configuration, which they can then modify in the sketcher if they like. These 2D and 3D modeling tools are easy to use and the streamlined use of intelligent CAD technology empowers students to get on with the good stuff, that is, applying the other three letters of STEM. The truss analysis tools exemplify the point. With a single visual display, students can see which web members are in compression or tension and to what extent the stress of individual web members is approaching or exceeding yield strength. They can also select on a web member to gather more detail or make more localized changes such as laminating or even changing the material of an individual web member. Of course, students can at any time make changes to their overall bridge design and immediately evaluate the effect of these changes. Next. I can select File, and if I am ready to simulate this design in the Monster Truck Rally, then I give it a name, and immediately I can find it categorized as a staged design. Then I can compete against any other student who has entered a design. It is worth pointing out here that with a multi-school or district license, teachers are connected as friends meaning if the teachers sanction it, then their students can compete against all the students across the entire district. The Monster Truck Rally includes two bridges, one high and one low, and also includes multiple camera views for the students to choose. When the rally begins, up to six trucks, each progressively heavier, can drive over each bridge until a bridge fails. The scene itself, the sound, and the leaderboard all add to the excitement. Though to the students this may look and feel like a game, it is actually an extraordinarily powerful analysis tool. Once the rally is complete, students are presented with detailed results about both designs. There is a lot of information here, but we purposefully do not tell students specifically how to improve their designs. That is their job, the student's job, to interpret these results along with everything that's come before it, to develop, and to act upon their own theories. Students can literally research, design, analyze, and simulate hundreds of times, learning more STEM with each informed iteration. In this engineering challenge, the path to the leaderboard is through effective, critical thinking. This method of using virtual models before actually building physical models has strong roots in industry. But where the objective in industry is to maximize productivity, our objective here is to maximize learning. The fully integrated nature of this learning system, the ease with which students can move between research modeling and analysis, 
and certainly the more exciting elements of a game-like simulation, all compel students to design and test numerous designs before actually building a physical model of their optimum design. Accordingly, the outputs and build and test sections include a variety of reports, print templates, and instructions for building a physical model of their optimized design. While Structures 2.0 can be used as a completely standalone virtual learning system, we believe there is great value in building and testing a real model. We can also assist in making provisions for the actual kits your students will use to build their physical models. Please refer to our website for our kit offerings. So, how do external forces propagate through a truss? Which truss type and perimeters most effectively accommodate these forces? How do different materials affect the structural integrity of my design? What trade-offs, performance, cost, or customer requirements occur as a result of my changes? The white box STEM learning framework empowers students to ask and answer these and many other questions for themselves. This is higher order thinking an essential key to an effective STEM learning process and beyond. This concludes our Structures 2.0 demonstration. Thank you, and as always, if you have any questions or need any assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us.